Happy Dia de los Muertos. I have a quick story for you. When I was a young girl in the sixth grade, I tried out for the choir at my middle school. And the choir teacher was so excited to have me. And choir tryouts came and I sang my song. And she classified me. She said, you're going to be one of my baritones. You have a rich voice like Nina Simone. All I heard was baritone, which meant my voice was a boy's voice and too deep. And so I didn't want to join the choir. I stopped. I said, well, I'll do something else. I went back to my first love, which was orchestra. Now, here's the thing. When I was in college, there was a movie out called The Thomas Crown Affair. And one of the songs, it was the one with Pierce Brosnan and uh, Rene Russo. And, of course, at the end, when um, Pierce Brosnan is still in art, there's a song, Center Man, that's playing. And it was written by Nina Simone. And believe it or not, my soul went wild for that song. I had to find out who it was and who it was singing. And it was Nina Simone. And so then I started doing some research. I was like, who is this Nina Simone? And I dug in and I found out about her and her message. So this is all the story is to say that Nina Simone is yet again haunting me on Day of the Dead. Because fresh from my Mac and de book delivery... Is this book, Nina. And I'm so excited because Nina Simone is one of my heroines. I've used her in a lot of presentations. She speaks to my soul, my militants, my uh, protest, my fire. It's because of Nina Simone. And so on this Day of the Dead, I would love to honor my ancestor, Nina Simone. Ashe, and thank you for listening.